Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be a very different video for me, something I haven't done before. Um, I'm embarking on setting up a truck camper. I just took uh, possession of this used Ford F-150 Lariat with a, a cap on it. Um, it's a 2006, it's an older truck that's very low mileage. It's a very nice truck that was taken care of um, by my late father-in-law. So. I am pretty excited to uh, actually get this. And the first thing that I wanna do is, and something I've been wanting to do with any truck I've ever had, is install a decked drawer system. Now with the cap, um, and then the deck system, what it's gonna allow me is storage of all my gear underneath and then a solid platform to put a mattress on and then sleep um, in the cap um, for camping. So uh, it's really something different I've never done before. I've never done camping inside of a truck like that. And this is the first time I've set something like this up. Um, I have most of the gear that I need uh, but the drawer system was critical. I really wanted that um, instead of building my own and just doing something janky. Um, I went ahead and purchased the deck system on my own. Um, I have no affiliation with them right now. They did not send it to me, so I paid the money for it because um, I thought it was worth it, and I love that it's an American company. Um, they drop shipped it to me. Um, if you want to see what this thing comes in, that's the way it comes to your house. So. That was just dropped off um, in my driveway one evening. I got home and there it was, sitting in the middle of the driveway. So I, I put up my pop-up just to shield me from the sun and give me some um, area to work in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the GoPro on time-lapse and then I'll stop here periodically to talk about what I'm doing. But I, you know, the install, there's plenty of install videos and of course Deck has their own install video and it's really good. Um, so you don't need me to show you how to do it. Um, I'd rather just talk about um, how I'm going to use the system, how I'm going to load it up, and then eventually how we're going to use it camping, and then take it out and use it and show it to you guys. So this So got the new deck system installed, um, a lot of issues with it, and it's not, I don't think it's deck's fault, um, I think it was definitely my fault. Um, I tried to do the install by myself on a very hot day, um, I got really overheated, um, it was very frustrating. Everything is very heavy, and my back is not always the greatest uh, lately, I've been having some back issues. so. Um, I tried to do too much 
and I just couldn't complete it. I did get most of everything assembled and put it in the truck, which I think was really the first mistake trying to do it by myself. I needed, I really should have had a buddy helping me put that in the back of the truck. Um, but what I did discover, what the issue, big issue was, is that um, I had a, um, a bed liner in the truck, um, not a spray on, but a, an insert. And that bed liner insert throws off the dimensions by so much that the, the deck system would not fit and I didn't realize that, and I really didn't see that in any kind of the, any of the disclaimers when I was purchasing it, so I didn't know that. So I contacted DECT, they said, yeah, you have to remove that, it's okay. So today, I went over to um, my mother-in-law's farm, she has a nice big barn over there, and my brother-in-law and my stepson and I went in the barn, put the, pulled the truck in, was able to remove the bed liner, and then put the assembled pieces that I had already done back in, all fit perfectly, and basically finished it up. So the deck system's in, I'm gonna show you that here in a second. And then today, um, I'm going to spend some time filling the deck drawers with um, just the necessities for my truck. But like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, the whole purpose of this system is going to be for a camper, I wanna use the the bed, truck bed with the topper and the deck system as a camping um, solution for me. Uh, that way I can go to different places, not have to worry about setup, and have everything I need right there. So next step is let's fill those drawers and go from there. Okay, if you're unfamiliar with the deck system, it's basically two long drawers on rollers, and the platform um, is very heavy duty. I forget what the weight limit on this thing is. It's very, it's a lot. It's a lot of weight. It can take a lot of weight because it's designed to be able to put stuff on top of it, like tires and cargo. Um, but I have mine enclosed with the cap, um, but I plan to sleep on top of my deck. But you still have usable uh, cargo space up here, albeit you're losing height um, when you put this in with the cap. But what, it, what drew me to this was I'd be able to sleep on top of it and I'd have all my cargo space in here. But also it allowed me um, to have a truck with a cap and keep all my tools. So in these long drawers, it comes with this box, which is a perfect toolbox, and this comes right out. You can lift this right out. It comes with a removable tray. Um, there are dividers in here that you can add. I think you have to buy those separately, so I'm going to look into that because then I can divide this up by metric and standard and have all my wrenches laid out. And you can buy, of course, more of these insert trays. And it is lockable. You can see that right down there. It has a heavy duty handle. But you, to open it, you just squeeze and that releases it. So now you don't have to take the whole thing out to access your tools. But if you want to take your tools out, you just lift this completely out comes with this one divider for this drawer and you can see how long this is. That's pulled out completely. It's long enough to fit my recovery tools. So I've got a machete, I've got a Gerber axe, I've got bolt cutters, toe strap, I've got a Stanley tool, which is basically a pry bar, and then a bow saw, some leather gloves, but Plenty of room to add even more stuff. Over here, 
it comes with this tray, this little insert, which is nice. So this is all the small stuff I've got. Some rope, a couple different light sources, WD-40, battery cleaner, and then I've got a metric set that I like to keep handy just in case I have to work on someone else's vehicle on the road. And then another box, which I haven't even filled up yet. I don't know what to do with that yet. More to come, right? Jumper cables, another divider, and uh, 8x10 tarp, and then a gas can that is empty. Now you can add a lock system to these um, if you're having an open bed, but since I have a locked tailgate, I don't feel I need locks on here, um, but those you purchase separately. It does have this ruler that you install, which is kind of cool. So if you're in the trades, that may, may be in hand, come in handy. And then there are tie downs that you install in the corners. And then there are what they call ammo boxes. They're not really ammo boxes, but they're pretty clever. You can add locks to these as well. They have a nice tight fit lid. And then this one came with two shallow trays and these pull out. So there I've got glow sticks in mine. This one's empty. And of course you can see, when you pull these out, it goes all the way to the bottom of my bed. So I got all the storage space in here. So if I wanna get, there are longer um, inserts for this. I, it comes with two long ones, I'll show you, show you those, but you can buy more. But, or you can leave it open and put your own stuff in here. Um, there are turnbuckles in this corner that hook to the cargo tie downs for the bed of the truck. So that helps keep the, the deck system from shifting um, side to side in the truck. Um, and there's turnbuckles on all four corners. So this thing is solid, is not going anywhere. But I love the organization so far of this. And I don't even have this thing filled up near enough, though there's one Back there, another ammo box that's empty. One back there, that's empty. And then this one here. So these are the deep ones, there's two of those. So in this one, I've got bungee cords and in here, I've got cargo straps. So that just keeps that stuff organized and very handy and easy to get to. And it doesn't get all tangled um, with my tools. You can see the dead space left over in there plenty of room and then there's the turnbuckle that this hooks into so all in all I I love the system I love the modularity I love the ability to safely store all my gear um, out of basically out of sight um, because once you close this thing up and you lock it uh, people can't really tell what is in here it's just a big black you know deck um, and unless they know what they're looking for, uh, they're not going to understand that there's tools in here and, and other valuables. So it's a very good system for what I want it to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, be look, on the lookout for more of these videos. They're going to go with this one. This is basically just the initial setup of me talking about what I think of the deck system and how it went for me putting it in. Um, next video is going to be more of a camping loadout video where i'm going to have all my gear that i've um, been kind of assembling and thinking about adding to this air mattress fan battery pack lighting system curtains cook set uh, cooler food so all those things are going to go in here and then hopefully we can take this thing out camping here shortly right now it's just ungodly hot in ohio and there's just no way I'm going to camp in the back of this um, in the summer heat. But here in the next month or so, when things start cooling down, we'll take this puppy out, outfit it, and you guys can be looking for more of these camping videos. Um, please check out the affiliate links down below. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate that. Leave some feedback below. Check out all the website stuff, uh, preparedwanderer.com, and, of course, the spread shop. Um, shop that has all the prepared wander 
stickers and t-shirts and sweatshirts and all that cool stuff. So appreciate your support and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.